brought to you by Configure Consulting, an HP partner company specializing in quick start solutions to empower IT operations teams with efficiency, stability, and top performance in the delivery of business services. Today I will be talking about the evolution from Operations Manager to Operations Bridge. Current customers with Operations Manager can take advantage of the HP OM to OMI License Exchange Program, which provides an easy and standard way to exchange HP OM Management Server, HP OM Basic Suite, Operations Smart Plugins, and Reporter Licenses to OMI Event Foundation, OMI Management Packs, and Service Health Reporter Licenses. Customers will continue to get support for their HP OM licenses for 12 months after the exchange. Customers can convert their licenses one subset of their HP OM environment at a time to make the migration as smooth and seamless as possible. Using OMI allows you to bring all event sources under a single view. HP offers connectors to many industry-leading tools such as MS SCOM, IBM Tivoli, Nagios, CA Spectrum, and many more to make OMI the single pane of glass for event management. Consolidating all events into OMI allows you to manage and control events in a way that will increase efficiency and reduce downtime when compared to having many different tools across different IT silos. OMI moves away from the node-centric approach used by Operations Manager and employs a topology-centric approach. By leveraging the runtime service model, topology can be established between configuration items in your IT infrastructure which allows topology-based event correlation rules to be created. Event correlation can drastically reduce the number of events operators have to address, which helps them in prioritizing, filtering, troubleshooting, and isolating problems. Events can be correlated by using the relationships between CIs stored in the RTSM to reduce the number of events being shown in the event browser. This helps operators identify the root cause of an issue as quickly as possible. Topology-based event correlation uses the discovered relationships between CIs to identify a CI as a cause and related CIs as symptoms. By identifying the root cause CI, operators can focus on solving the problem which is causing the symptom events, and once the issue has been solved, all the cause and symptom events will be closed due to the correlation rule. OMI has the capability to forward events directly to the service desk to automatically create an incident using a built-in notification system and a flexible forwarding interface for trouble ticket or notification system integrations. This feature can greatly reduce the number of calls to the service desk and reduce the time it takes to remediate incidents. The integration is bi-directional, so when an incident is updated or closed in the service desk, the corresponding event is updated or closed in the event console. When OMI integrates with operations orchestration and a service desk, a closed loop incident process can be established. This integration allows operators to launch runbooks directly from their console to resolve problems with known solutions and avoid creating an incident. Runbooks can even be executed automatically when events arrive. By mapping operations orchestration runbooks to CI types, the full potential of OMI can be leveraged to remediate incidents with no operator interaction. Problems with a known solution will be automatically resolved, which can greatly reduce the time spent on incident resolution and keep the focus on the problems that require attention to maintain application performance and availability. More information on the closed loop incident process can be found on the Configure Consulting website. OMI offers out-of-the-box dashboards which provide an at-a-glance 360-degree view of service health. Utilizing the RTSM topology, dashboards can provide insight into service health through relationships between CIs. Using health indicators and key performance indicators, CI status can propagate up through its parent CIs up to the business service, giving a clear indication that there are components of the service which need to be analyzed and addressed. Having a single view to monitor service health status can be extremely beneficial to organizations to keep performance and availability levels at their highest by reducing the time it takes to identify where issues are occurring in their environment and the impact that occurs when problems arise. Operator dashboards can assist in event management by giving event dispatchers an easy to use interface 
to view the current status of event assignment and how many critical events are open. Operator dashboards also provide tools to drill down to the root cause of an issue directly from the dashboard itself. This helps reduce the time spent on managing events and diagnosing problems to ensure that critical business services stay healthy and do not breach expected service levels. Migrating from HP Operations Manager can be handled in a way that will allow you to immediately start using your HP OMI deployment and transition your configuration at a pace that will ensure you don't lose the functionality you have come to depend on from your Operations Manager solution. To make the migration as seamless as possible, you can allow OMI to act as a secondary and action allowed manager for your HP OM managed nodes and a flexible management policy that is deployed on the nodes. What this means is that OMI will have the ability to request the HP OM server to take actions on HP OM managed nodes and install policies and instrumentation directly on the agents themselves. By using a flexible management policy, the migration process can be taken at a pace that will ensure a smooth transition and will not take away from the features you have come to depend on from HP OM while allowing you to take advantage of the benefits offered by OMI right away. Once OMI has been deployed in a flexible management policy, you can benefit from OMI correlation, event enrichment, and automation features. Some customers even stop here and use OMI in a headless fashion, which means all events are forwarded to another system like HP Service Manager and processed there. The next step is to establish effective operator workflow. Operators can review the instruction text for an event and run tools, runbooks, event-related actions, and performance graphs in the context of a specific event or configuration item from the context menu or action panel. Each operator or operator group can have their own My Workspace page customized to the actions they will be using on a daily basis. The process of migration can be taken at a pace that suits your environment. Switching operations agent management from HP OM to OMI can be taken in a step-by-step -step manner using the flexible management policy allowing OMI to act as a secondary manager until the operations agents have been fully migrated and OMI can be switched to the primary manager. For more information, visit www.configureconsulting.com or email at info at configureconsulting.com. Thank you for watching.